One of the biggest challenges facing DBAs is when you're trying to tackle what I would call a rogue session. And sometimes you'll log on as a DBA and you'll check out V$ session and literally leaping off the page is that one session that's been running for potentially hours and you can see that its status is active and it's actively burning your CPU. Funnily enough though, often it's not that person that is struggling in the sense that typically, unless you've got an application fault, people are running those kind of things as long running batch jobs, big reports, they may be quite happy to wait. The problem is, while that person is burning a hole in your server, other people start to get slowed down as well. So even though one session is actually taking a long, long time, it's the complaints from everybody else that come in saying, you get those phone calls going, is the server running slow or is there a problem, etc., like that. They're the people that get the most upset. Now, in the old days, what would happen is you'd be at home, perhaps middle of the night, and you would have one of these things called a pager. You may remember them and you'd get this little page saying, yes, there's a problem in your database. Of course, nowadays, you know, times have changed. We don't have pages anymore. We have much more sophisticated techniques. Namely, we get the same information on our smartphone. We still have to crawl out of bed. And what do we do? In the old days, we would simply crawl out of bed, log on, and we'd do something like alter system kill session, or at worst, we'd log onto the OS and do kill minus nine, effectively killing off that bad session to allow other people to get a slice of the server pie. That, of course, would upset those person who's in running that report. For all we know, they were quite happy to wait that long. Uh, what happens is they've now got to rerun that job. It's going to run for another hour, and they're very upset with you. There is another way, which I stress is not supported, but you could explore perhaps, for example, on your test or development systems when people run amok when they're experimenting with code. What you can do is you can use Aura Debug and then set your process ID to the affected session, the one that's burning up all the CPU resources, and then you could suspend it. It doesn't kill that operation off. It simply halts it in its track. It stops consuming resources. Because of that, the other sessions now get their fair slice of the server pie. So they'll now complete their work. They're happy. They think the server's running fine. And then what you can do is to Aura Debug Resume. The person running this long running report will notice that perhaps it ran 10, 20, 30 seconds, a couple of minutes longer than it normally would have, but their operation didn't get killed. They don't have to rerun it and everyone's happy. In your non-production environments, if you have to occasionally jump in and reallocate a bit of the server pie, check out Aura Debug, Suspend and Resume. Once again, not supported for production use.